This is CNN Breaking News. All right, this is breaking news just into us here at CNN. In tweets just sent out by President-elect Donald Trump moments ago, he asks if CIA Director John Brennan is, quote, a leaker of fake news. And he's retweeting this Fox News article. Uh, the, the title of it is, Outgoing CIA Chief John Brennan Blasts President-elect Trump on Russia Threat does not fully understand. Trump goes on to say, oh really, couldn't do much worse. Just look at Syria, red line, Crimea, Ukraine, and the buildup of Russian nukes, not good. Was this the leaker of fake news? All right, the context here is important. Earlier today in an interview with Fox News Sunday, John Brennan, the head of the CIA, had some pretty harsh words for Trump. Here is part of that interview. What I do find outrageous is uh, equating an intelligence community with Nazi Germany. I do take great umbrage at that, and there is no basis for uh, Mr. Trump to point fingers at the intelligence community for leaking information that was already available publicly. Okay, joining me on the phone is Kimberly Dozier, a CNN Global Affairs analyst and senior national correspondent for the Daily Beast, someone incredibly well sourced within the intelligence committee. Um, wow. I mean, he, he is asking. Did John Brennan, the head of the CIA, leak this 35-page dossier uh, to the public? Your thoughts, Kimberly? Well, Poppy, he has been hinting at that all along without naming anyone. But now that John Brennan took this unprecedented step to go on Fox News on a program that he knows the president-elect watches to say what you've said this past week, You've gone too far. This is open warfare. What, well, through open warfare through words. Um, what this could do, however, is Brennan is taking um, Trump's anger at the intelligence community onto himself. He's making himself a target so that hopefully, uh, in the long term, this will stick to him uh, as a member of the Obama administration and that Trump would then trust the community uh, once he's got his own people in charge. So then what does it mean? Does it stick to Mike Pompeo, the if confirmed incoming next head of the CIA? Well, it means he's going to have a, a bruised and wary intelligence community of CIA officers to take care of when he comes in there. And he's going to have to show them that he has their backs. Otherwise, um, you may see things like uh, leaks not through the intelligence community to reporters, but uh, leaks from the intelligence community, say, to the House and Senate intelligence committees mm -hmm. about things that they think are going wrong. Um, it's, it's an interesting procedure that happens that they're protected as whistleblowers to do something like that. And if they're unhappy, that's when you see those kind of complaints rise in frequency. Here's the issue. If the president-elect, soon to be the sitting president, needs to make the case to the American public to go to war, that case is based on the intelligence from his intelligence community. That is why this relationship is so important, Kimberly. H have we ever seen anything like this between a commander-in-chief and the intelligence community that serves him? Questioning whether the head of the CIA leaked something that was damning and, 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 and really uh, not verified at all to the press? I, I can't recall um, any sort of open verbal warfare back and forth like this. But remember, um, that document was already floating around. As Brennan said, it had been in the hands of reporters for quite some time. They just couldn't verify it. But of course, uh, Director of National Intelligence Clapper and FBI Director Comey uh, uh, raised it to uh, a national security issue simply by briefing it to members of Congress, to President Obama, and to President-elect Trump. So then it becomes something that we're all paying attention to. Now, in the long term, or over the next few months, we're going to be watching for um, what does what what is the confirmation hearing for the director of national intelligence um, nominee Dan Coats like? What kind of questions does he get? What we heard from Trump's nominees this past week was a lot of anti-Russia um, sentiment. We haven't heard the same thing from the president-elect. Um, this is uh, now going to become the main issue dogging everyone going for a full-time job in the Trump administration. Um, and in the meantime. 
um, with John Brennan and Director Clapper both. Uh, Director Clapper had reached out to President-elect Trump this past week and tried to make amends. Mm -hmm. That obviously didn't work. Right. So now you have those two men about to leave office on the 19th. Yeah. And after that, uh, you're going to have to have some real healing between the White House okay. and the intelligence community. Mm -hmm. And we'll have to see if the people who've been nominated have the imprimatur of Trump and are allowed to do their jobs. Kimberly, I have to leave it there. We appreciate you uh, coming on on this breaking news. Thank you very much. Thank you all for being with us this weekend. I'm Poppy Harlow in New York. Good night.